fellow acolytes, my name is Lewis, and for the first time ever, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the Cult of Ones. In this video, I will be showing you all how to get a worn copper effect onto your models. And for models today, we will be using this Crypto Throw from the Andromedus box set. I have already primed it with Satin Espresso from Rustoleum. And for the first paint we'll be putting down, we're going to be using Scythrax Bronze. Without thinning or diluting the paint, apply it directly to the area that you wish to receive this effect. Make sure that it's a full and complete coat and that no primer is visible at the end of this step. Now I'm going to be using this shining silver from Army Painter to uh, give this model a more worn look. Apply this paint towards where you want that worn effect to be. For me, I'm going to be applying it more towards the chipped areas of this armor plate, as you can see. Now let that dry, because next we're going to be using a wash. Specifically, this Reichland Flesh Shade. This will tint the metal that we have already down and give it that really nice, rich, coppery hue. Make sure this is a nice, even coat of the wash. You don't want any pools here. So here's where we're at after it's dry. As you can see, it's gotten a lot warmer and has that nice and rich orange coppery hue in some parts. So now it's time to work on the patina. And to do that, we're going to be using this Drakenoff Nightshade. And unlike the Reichlin Flesh Shade before, we will be letting this pool. I'm applying it randomly, but more towards those cracked areas where I want it to be more worn and patinaed. However, you can choose wherever you want to put it onto your model. And here's where we're at after the blue has dried. And now we're going to be working up the layers of the patina. And to do that, we will be using this Thalo Green from Liquitex, the Corellium Hue from Dollar and Rowney, and an Army Painter paint called Kraken Skin. Next, on a dry palette, mix both the phthalo green and the corellium hue, get off a little bit of excess, then stipple what you have left on the brush in the area left by the Drakenoff nightshade puddles. Now, mix some of that kraken skin into our previous mixture, and then stipple that just like you're seeing on the screen, and then we're going to take even more and get a final pass. And just like that, we are done. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys all in the next one. Until then, I've been Lewis at the Cult of Ones, and I'll see you guys later.